Hey guys, it is Andrea and today I am coming at you with a rewind plan with me in my B6, which y'all seem to love. My inserts are from So Much Crafting. I normally use like other shops kits, like this is a Coffee Doodles kit, a Two Little Bees kit, SPC, um, what, Frank R2, SPC, Press Press Glam Up Planner, but I'm actually going to use one of our mini kits this week. I really wanted to use this, but I just didn't, like, there's so many kits that I know I'm not going to have time for, especially this summer, that I really want to use. So I'm going to be doing some of my kits in here. Um, I'm really excited about I'm kind of really pumped to not be, like, back planning from January. This is a Foxy Fix um, B6, which is a number five coconut in a compact with white strand, white, right? white strand white stitching um so i am going to be planning i haven't pulled out anything i don't know like what i even need but it has like the faux double washi so i don't think i'm going to bring in any simply gilded washi i honestly don't think i have anything that would like fully match anyways most of the purple stuff i have has gold in it um so i have that i think i always have the inserts linked down below i've been trying to really build up I need to get all my supplies out. I've been really trying to build up a really good bottom bar for you guys um, with a lot of like good, what is that? Is that a spider? Did I kill a spider? Or is that just schmutz? Spider or, spider or schmutz, I'm not sure. I don't know how I would have killed a spider. Nah, I think it's schmutz. Um, oh, no, no, it is schmutz because I cut, um, some leather, so it was like leather schmutz. Um, so I've been trying to build up a good bottom bar of things that people nor pe normally people bleh, people normally ask me for, like my slice tool and undo and these inserts, um, and I don't know whatever else tweezers. Um, so if there's anything else you guys think that normally you're like, oh, where's that from? Let me know in the comments down below, and I will add it in there for you guys. Um, I think in what I think I have two weeks and then I'm like caught up knowingly I will probably be behind because by the time I catch up I will probably be behind so it'll be a perpetual I mean I guess that's what a rewind is but I've been really liking these spreads I think it's really fun um, especially because for me I even in just my shop I release three kits a week so I stink uh, that's not what we do. Um, so that's a lot of kits. So even just the three kits, and I mean, that's not counting mystery or whatever else I release. Um, obviously, I can't use three kits a week in my main planners. And there's tons of other shops that I love supporting, like you guys see in my hauls. So I really like this for being able to utilize some other kits that I might not have been able to utilize otherwise. So that's where, why I really, really like this and i really love this format and i'm so glad danielle made this if you guys want to see a flip through when this is all done definitely let me know and i can do that i think i, I think she sent me the the year's worth of inserts when she sent these to me she sent them a little ahead of time of them releasing um but i'm so excited i think i'm gonna continue doing this I used to do rewinds in, I think I did them in my Erin Condren for a while, and then I did them in a personal planner. And I feel like with the personal planner, I just wasn't, like, good at, like, the, um, like, layout of it. Because I, I think I was doing, like, no white space, and that was, like, a little rough sometimes. And then it just became more of a chore than it was actually fun. I really love doing these also because I usually bring home like a whole entire glitter sampler and I can save the rest of these in silver. It's such an easy color to pull into other kits. It's so weird not having like a point on my nails to hold things down. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the full boxes real quick. I have so many really pretty ones to choose from. So I think I want to use these two. I don't think I'm going to use the quote just because I want to keep it a little bit more airy. So I'm going to use these two. I love this. It's so pretty, and I'm just going to kind of center that. It's so beautiful. I think I have one more photo kit. I don't know if by the time that you see this, if the photo kit might actually already be out. 
Um, it's been printing cut for a while. I've just been moving it around because of like release schedules. Let's do the ribbon. But um, I don't have any more photo kits I'm going to do. It's kind of expensive to do photo kits. I'm not sure how a lot of people do them because the licensing is kind of insane because you have to license each photo, which is insane. Um, so I don't know like how many I'm going to do unless I'm like really inspired. Obviously I can re-release the old ones because I have like a huge licensing on those, but um, they don't really do like small commercial business licensing on those. I feel like those are kind of cool because it's like white space, which is nice. And then I have these left over that I'll put in my declutter pile. I do want to put in the date covers. I think I want to pull in some foil. I think so. Yeah, I think like pulling in um, washi would have been a little hard just because it would have really had to have been purple. Unless I had like white and silver, which I mean, I'm waiting. I think there's been like white and like the pink, which I just call rose gold. And then white and like champagne gold. What are the dogs barking at? Dogs have been like really like barky recently. I don't even know why. They never really cared before. But it also might be because we're not running the air as much, so I feel like you can hear a lot of the things going on outside. I love this. Oh, and I put my white out link down below as well. So let me go grab. Do I want to do? I think I won't pull in any foil. Maybe I'll just use the date dots that are in my shop. So that is in my functional binder and I keep all of my like really small ones. Like I do have rose colored days, black ones, but I think I'm gonna use these ones. And I need the 12th. Do I have any of these that'll line up perfect or no? No. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, that just leaves the 11, so that's not horrible. I'm like so crazy. Maybe I'll just start another one or I'll just start the bottom part. Um. So I put those in the front along with some black um, rose colored days, um, day dots that are clear and then also her, what are they called, her little holiday things because one, if I ever needed a quick foil, I could always do that. Um, I'll just start down here. I could do that, but also like if I'm doing a spread that doesn't have foil but I really want a beautiful um, script that has the holiday on it. I could just pull that out. I love gross color days. Um, so these, I think I mentioned before that the date covers in the actual kits are a little bit taller than the multicolor ones and the ones that are $3 Thursday. So the ones that are $3 Thursday and multicolor, these fit like perfectly. These have a little bit more wiggle room. It's really like not noticeable. I mean, you might notice if you use like the multicolor ones and then you go to put these in and you're like, oh, I have more space. But I mean, it's really not a big deal. It's just because I had more room, so I figured I'd make them a little bit bigger on here. And I had a little less room, so I figured I'd make them a little bit smaller on the other ones. So I didn't put those in. That's a little crooked. I love tweezers for this. These I just looked up like silver, or maybe I looked up like glitter tweezers or something. I don't know. And I'm going to go ahead and put these on the top. So pretty. I could probably leave a little bit of space, but easier to make them straight if you like push them up against the glitter header. <gasps> this is such a pretty kit. I think I'm going to do in September a full week of um, like house spreads from the mini kits that I released today but who knows when I'm going to put this up probably in like two weeks. I like been pre-filming so much. I like pretty much what I do is is whenever I have like a 30 minutes or so like but it's napping right now and Nick has him. It's so like before we're going to make dinner, I'm like, oh, I have like 30 minutes because it's really all we can have for. So I'm going to go ahead and sit down and film a quick little video and then I edit it whenever I have time, usually whenever he's sleeping at night and it's like before I'm ready for bed and then I just schedule them out. Um, like let's say I have my next, my next video goes up on like the 17th or something, I just schedule it for the 18th then. And it's just really easy like that. I don't have to keep like a crazy schedule or anything. Let's go in day by day. Um, on... <clears throat> I don't even know what I'm going to put in here right now. On Monday, I went shopping, apparently. I don't know where I went. It might have been an online shopping. But I did use the little munchkin, so I'm going to go ahead and use that in here. I'm going to use a little half box. I actually did that in the spread, so let's use that. Well, this week, I went to the rodeo, which was a quick little trip. 
feel like I like these for kind of storytelling, but sometimes I just don't remember, honestly. So I'm gonna put the little munchkin in there. Also this day, I think I released the Harry Potter TN. So for that, do I just wanna use stuff from the kit? I think I might just use stuff from the kit this week. I barely ever do that, but let's just do that and um, see how it goes. See how far we can get with this. So let's use that. And then this day I also did like a really big cleaning. So I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these little cleaning icons down here. Let's use the little spray bottle. What can I put in the middle of that? I did film a lot this day, so I think for that I'm going to use. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait a second. Let me pull these up. I could put the big old plan the planning YouTube filming thing. I should really use undo. I'm feeling confident. And center that out better. Alright. Let's put this back in here. Let's grab this film edit up. Well, that's a lot of purple, but I guess this kit, the point is this is a lot of purple. Now I'll put the little spray bottle on the bottom. Perfecto. Then if we move on to Tuesday, I had to put the mystery kit spots up. So for that, I'm just gonna use the little package box. Think of like, it's like a mystery box, even though it's a mystery like package. Um, then I also went to Whole Foods to go grocery shopping. So for that, I think I'll use another little icon, I guess. I guess if you don't have character stickers, this is what you're using the icon. So let's use another little icon for that. I guess normally I would probably use like a little other icon. Maybe I'll put that down here. And then I had to do, I moved all of a bunch of stuff around on my computer, like notably a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. And then this day, I think, oh, I got in my big rose colored days order and it was life changing. So I think for that, I'm actually use, what do I wanna use? Oh yeah, I'll use the little munchkin that has the little happy face thingy going on. And I'll use a half box because that was, again, notable. Definitely have better like character stickers for this, but I'm just feeling a little lazy today. So we're just going to go this route. Route? Route? On Wednesday, I went to work. So for that, I'm going to use one of these flags. I'll use the light purpley, light purple color up here and I'll just write work. And then Nick and I watched Paddington 2. So we'll put that in here. Actually, I'll put it all the way in the bottom. And then other than that, I started writing lists, which kind of sounds a little bit interesting to be like noting, but it's literally changed my life. I started like a new list kind of. So I'm just gonna use a little heart icon for that. And then also this day, I did some work from home. So for that, I'm going to use, let's see, let's use the little phone icon. So then if we, I'm actually going to pause this. I'm going to fill out this half, let my camera cool down, and I'll be right back. Nothing crazy this week, but I think it looks kind of dainty with the photo kit, which is nice. So on Thursday, Nick and I watched late night TV, like we just watched TV till really late at night, which was very notable because we barely ever really watch TV. So I'm just going to use a um, TV, I, TV little thing. I'm going to put that on the bottom. Also, Bennett this day got to meet the Easter Bunny, so I'm going to use a half box for that. It was really cute. He had just woken up from a nap, so... He was kind of like, what? And he just looks confused in all the pictures. He didn't cry, which is kind of cool. So there's that. So I don't, I think I'm just gonna write Bennett meets the Easter Bunny because I don't really know what else would like signify Bennett meeting the Easter Bunny. Could have used like the heart icon if I would have thought it out further, but I think it's fine the way it is. Um, if I think of anything, I'll put that in there. Actually, I have an idea, but we'll do that last. Um, then Nick and I and Bennett obviously ate at a cute cafe. So for that, I'm going to use um, a little 
like food icon. I'm going to use the more like fast food looking one. And then I did do start some new thumbnails on um, YouTube. So I think for that I'm going to use the, the balloons. I just started putting like glitter outlines on them and like not putting text on them, which is kind of fun. Then on Friday, Nick had to do a lot of errands. So I'm just going to use the little car icon. So he went and did a lot of things in the morning. And then we went to, or did we go to, I think we went to IHOP, so I'm just going to use a half box for that. So I'm going to use, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, I keep saying like one of the purple ones, but they're like all purple. So I'll put that in and I think I'll use the little fork and knife icon. It's really hot under these lights and it matches. And then it was also new releases. So for new releases, I'm going to use one of these fancy labels on the bottom. And then for in the middle, oh, I did watch Riverdale this day. I don't really mark down like when TV shows are on anymore just because I feel like I never watch them. When they're on, I more put them down like when I watch them. So I watched Riverdale this day. And then the only other thing I did was clean again. So I'm just gonna use another little cleaning icon. So I'm gonna use that, I'll put that right here. Then on Saturday, there was a Simply Gilded washi release. So I think I'm going to put that in with a heart. Obviously, I've got to put that in because Simply Gilded is before a lot of things in my life. Um, then I went to get pho with Jessica. Pho with Jessica. And for that, I'm going to use the little clinking glasses icon. We love our pho. It was also St. Patrick's Day, so I think I'm just going to write in, or maybe I'll use the little, here's a quarter box. I'm going to use a half box for the rodeo, so let's put that down. Yeah, I can use a quarter box. I think a quarter box will fit. So let's do the purple. <gasps> Duh. So I think I'm going to pull in the, th the St. Patrick's Day script just because I have it here why not in the black since I just mentioned how that was like a purpose for them so let's lift this guy up they're still like delicately cut which I love and we're gonna go ahead and use our tweezers to put this down this is such a pretty purple simple spread happy St. Patrick's Day for the rodeo I don't think I really have an icon for that mm. No. So I'm just going to leave that in. I'll just write the rodeo. It'll look cute. I'll try and get cute with my handwriting, you know. It'll be a fail. Um, and then, let's see. Oh, I also got my nails done this day. Maybe I'll put my nails in instead of getting, and I'll use the little nail icon, rather than the Simply Gilded Release, which I care about the Simply Gilded Release, but getting my nails done is something I actually, like, went and did. Then on Sunday, I did have a really big design day, so for that, I think I'm going to use the appointment label and then I also did plan the next week so I'm going to use that other label um then we did watch a lot of the food network so I'm going to go ahead and put that in um I'll use this color purple I haven't used really any of these yet I'll put it down here just to cover up my boo-boo so this could be like a really simple spread. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. And then we just relax the rest of the day, which I might do this like more nude color. And then, oh, I get, I'll use the little house icon on top. So I didn't really do anything else that day. I did film some videos, but I don't think it's like notable. So put that in there, and then I think that's everything. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off and fill everything out. I think that's like super simple spread, and I didn't really pull in a lot, so it's kind of nice to see, and I do have, I mean, quite a bit left. I barely use anything on this sheet, but um, I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and fill everything out. So that is everything for this video. I think it turned out super cute, super simple, kind of like almost a little chic, like just very like 
chill. I did cut up a little thing. It looks really bad because I used my big scissors instead of my little scissors. Um, but just to get like a little heart icon on there for Bennett meeting the Easter Bunny. But I hope you guys like this video. I'm so glad you like these. I'm sure eventually I'll get tired of them and quit, but not today, not in the foreseeable future. But um, I hope you guys liked it and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!